But what do you say we do a little bit of grilling? It's dinner time and this is such a nice spot that I wanted to come back here once again. Still some chicken. The salad tonight too. This is what we're grilling up. Should be good. And a little uh, Caesar salad kit. Smells good. It's a little bit dark. I like my chicken crispy anyway. Hey, check it out. It's the Instagram side of the chicken. Now it's the real side of the chicken. Uh, good morning, world. Oh, yes. Absolutely beautiful morning again. So right now we're in Leavenworth, Washington, up Icicle Creek Road. It's a pretty awesome free camping back here. And we're gonna head into Seattle today because finally I'm putting the 37 inch tires on today. We got 35s on here. I originally wanted 37s on here like two years ago, but they were not in production. So we're going to Discount Tire in Seattle and taking these guys off. And I've already sold these tires to someone, so I'm gonna meet them there and sell them. Then the new tires are going on. Can't wait. These general grabber tires have been awesome, except for the winter. They're pretty sketchy. So I'm gonna get some all-terrain Toyo AT3 tires, and uh, I think they're gonna be way better in the snow and ice, and just rolling the highway better. So anyhow, that's the word. We are driving towards Seattle right now. In about three hours or so to get there. I don't know, I just feel really fortunate to be able to do what I'm doing right now. And just being on the open road is just, it's my favorite thing. I've loved it since I was a little kid. I just love being in a vehicle and moving and just going somewhere, going somewhere, the same, whether it's the same place or a new place or wherever, I just love driving. And uh, it's really cool to live in the USA like this where it's just like the ultimate road trip country in the world. There's just so many different places you can go, so many things to see, so many things to do. It's just a very inspiring place to live and to uh, be on the road. And I've had a lot of questions in the past asking how I'm able to be on the road like this and do what I'm doing. And it's because I have an awesome full-time job that lets me take off when I like to. You know, working for a driving school the last uh, 16 years. And then YouTube, if I didn't do the YouTube thing, I wouldn't be able to afford this. Uh, for instance, this trip, I'm driving 15,000 miles. Diesel is at least $5 a gallon. You start doing the math, if I get 12 miles a gallon, I'm, I'm totally spending 7,000 bucks in diesel. But uh, I'm able to write all of that off with YouTube since I'm filming. And uh, also make money with YouTube to pay for the diesel. So, uh, or at least pay for most of it. So, it's pretty sweet really fortunate and uh, I don't know just wanted to thank you guys for tuning into the channel and supporting me and watching the videos and uh, it's all I gotta say just I'm glad you guys are along for the uh, journey with me here and sometimes the YouTube things a little bit cheesy like having the truck house life sticker on the side of the camper I feel kind of weird about that sometimes or just doing videos that seem probably a little bit similar as far as always including the truck camper in it. And a lot of the videos and thumbnails, you'll notice I have to kind of put the truck house in the thumbnail or include it in the video. 
and that might seem a little bit cheesy but you know what if that's what allows me to live this lifestyle and uh, do what I love doing and bring you guys awesome content then it's completely worth it it's just a one of those trade-offs and uh, just is what it is I suppose I'm close to a hundred thousand subscribers which is freaking crazy but I guess that means I'm an actual youtuber now Apparently. I just want to give a shout out to Phil from Down to Mob Overland. You guys go check out his channel, Down to Mob. And uh, he's the one that just pushed me over the line, man. I used to watch his videos. He was like the first YouTuber I consistently watched. And uh, I talked to him and I was like, uh, man, should I do this full time? Or should I just try to go for it? And he's like, yeah, you should do it. He talked me into it. So thanks, Phil. Appreciate it, dude. Wouldn't be here without your, uh, without your push, man. As a YouTuber, I feel like what makes it sustainable for myself is not making filming a priority. It's making your adventure and what you want to do a priority, and the filming comes secondary to that. So I go out and I do these adventures and I do what I would do anyway, and then I just film it on the side and try not to be too obnoxious with the camera. Uh, I have a really hard time interviewing people or if I'm just meeting someone for the first time, I'm not gonna freaking walk up and film myself meeting them. It just feels weird, it feels ungenuine. Uh, so I miss moments like that, as you guys will notice in the channel. But uh, I just try to keep it as genuine as I can and that makes it sustainable to me and it makes it fun and it makes it uh, not like a job. So it's my advice if you're trying to get into the YouTube thing. Dude, check out this mountain, holy crap. That's cool. Tell you what, Washington's like, it's a pretty cool state. Pretty respectable state. Just stay out of the big cities, which is where I'm going right now. Mile, your destination will be on the right. Sweet. We're at Discount Tire. We're about to pull in, put these uh, big tires on. Sweet, here it is. Let's pull in. The replacement tire arrived today, so now I've got four brand new Toyo AT3 37 inch tires I'm throwing on. They told me it'd take about an hour, so we're gonna go uh, one wheel down to Five Guys Burger, get some lunch, and uh, work on some editing. Yeah, so when you guys see this thing again, she'll have 37s on her. Last view. Hopefully, they fit. freaking love having a one wheel in cities. It just makes it so fast and easy to get around. balance she's up in the air those look huge <laughs> here it goes <laughs> sweet looks like they fit right on man Freaking awesome. And yeah, those mud tires are trying to kill me up there in all the snow and ice and stuff. So oh, yeah? Yeah, it's it time to swap them. Right on. Check them. Got the brand new meats on. 37 inch Toyos. They kind of rub at full turn, but so do my others. My old 35s did too. But I think these are going to be way better in the winter. Actual all-terrain tire instead of a freaking mud terrain. Should be good. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Seattle. Check out that traffic. Freaking crazy. You know what the real crazy part is? It's only 1.15 in the afternoon. Can't imagine rush hour out here. Look at this concrete jungle. It's always just a trip to get to Seattle after like driving through the wilderness for a couple thousand miles. Man, this is hilarious. So I got so excited about the tires that I just left discount tire and I completely forgot to pick up my uh, quick release camper jacks that I ordered from some dude and he shipped them to Alaska to the wrong address and they went all the way back to Virginia. And then the dude, once he received them back, he reshipped them to Discount Tire where my tires were. And Discount Tire held those quick release camper jacks in their office for a couple weeks. And I was supposed to pick them up with the tires and I forgot. 
So luckily I didn't get super far away. I got about 50 miles south of Seattle in horrible traffic and then realized that I had to turn around and go back to get them. So I'm going back into Seattle right now, pretty much right at rush hour, but at least I remembered. Whoa. Can you believe that traffic, man? I don't know how people live here, it's crazy. All right, we got the camper jack turnbuckles, the quicker loosens, freaking stoked, and heading back towards Portland. Uh, you know what's crazy? I'm sitting here driving through Seattle rush hour, and uh, it's just almost like dead stop on the highway. Yeah, it's been in traffic for hours, just trying to go a few miles, and it just got me thinking about like why everyone is choosing to live here, and I don't know, it's just, it's, it just seems so crazy. I'm sure the traffic's really crazy in the morning time, you know, it takes an hour or two to get to work, and then you work all day, and then you drive home in this, and it's like your whole day is gone, and like, what are you doing it for, you know? Like, just to survive? Like, you don't have to do this to survive. This is just Western civilization. This is what we define as a civil way of life, a developed way of life. All I know is it ain't the only way. Just saying. Well, welcome to Portland. Freaking crazy concrete jungle. Everywhere you look, all concrete. This is so foreign coming to a place like this. I'm actually really nervous about parking uh, my truck around here tonight. I'm definitely gonna be sleeping in it for sure, but uh, not the safest town to leave your truck behind in. So I got my old bandmate Josie up in front of me down here in Portland. I'm heading towards Hood River to go uh, do some whitewater kayaking and camping for a couple days, see some other friends. But uh, it's been awesome hanging out with Josie the last couple days. And uh, it's just good if you're on a road trip just to freaking stop and see your friends, just take time. Otherwise you don't see each other, you know? So uh, yeah, it's fun, always fun catching up. Anyhow. On the mattress, on the mattress, on the mattress. 